How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool, really classic 80s style chrome text. It's really cool. We're going to make this crazy HDRI custom gradient stuff to make this. But before that though, I want to announce that my online course with MoGraph Mentor is live. It's all about abstract design, animation, motion design. We're going to be going deep into procedural materials, deep into procedural modeling, so much cool stuff in there. If you want to check that out, you can pre-order that now and get 40% off this week until the 27th. So you can go check that out in the description but let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we are here in a blank document. We are gonna be using Eevee for that, so just make sure you're in the Eevee render engine. We're gonna make sure that we have Bloom on, Screen Space Reflections, and uh, you can do anything else you want for your preferences, but those are the two kind of mandatory things. Now let's go ahead and hit Shift A and pop in some text. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna hit Tab and type in whatever I want. I'm gonna type in B-L-E-N-D. It's kind of appropriate for this. And then I'm gonna go here from to the alignment and go center and center. That just kind of centers out the origin point here. Now let's go ahead and model this guy quick. So let's get the geometry and um, we're gonna go ahead and extrude him a little bit and we're gonna give it a depth of just one. And then what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get my font. Now you can go to daffont.com or whatever you want if you wanna get your own custom font. Uh, this default one's pretty boring. And then I'm gonna click this little icon here. If you wanna unzip your file that you've downloaded or if you click that button, it should bring you up the dialogue of all the other fonts in your computer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick a really cool one, something like this. And now we have that. Now you can see how some of these letters are touching and uh, just from a graphic design standpoint, that's just not very good looking. So I'm gonna go down here to the character spacing and just bring it out a little bit. And there we go. I'm gonna hit RX90 so we can rotate it by 90 degrees. And I'm gonna hit quickly go ahead and shift A, get a plane, RX90 on the plane, bring it back and scale it up. That's gonna give us a black background for this scene. Now I'm gonna hit the tilde key, which is right above the tab key for me and go to the front, shift A, get my camera, Control Alt Zero. We're gonna snap that to view, and uh, you can hit G or G middle click to move that around if you'd like. So I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. So now we have this. Let's go ahead and start making materials and that really cool 80s kind of background. So we'll go here to the rendered view, and we'll here on the world. You can click this color and bring it up so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna click this background image, and I'm gonna go here, new material, click new. I'm gonna make it black and put my roughness here at 10. So that's gonna give you a perfectly black background. I'm gonna click on the text now, new material, um, just a tad bit of roughness and then make it metallic. So now we have this really nice metallic material. Let's head over to shading to make our um, sort of our world color HDRI kind of situation. So I'm gonna hit zero to go to my camera view and then on object, let's go to world. All right, you're gonna want the node Wrangler add-on enabled. So we're gonna go to edit, preferences, um, hit those add-ons here, and we're gonna type in node, and we have the node Wrangler add-on. So just enable that. I'm gonna click on the background, and I'm gonna hit control T. Now I'm gonna delete this environment material, I mean environment texture, and get in a gradient in the search. So gradient, vector, and then color here to the color. So what we're gonna to wanna to do here on the Y axis of the mapping node for our gradient texture, rotate it by 90 degrees. So now it's flat like that, and that's what we're looking for. And then you can use the X position to sort of adjust that gradient. So this is already something really cool you can use for say uh, like a movie intro. You have this really nice gradient. Um, you know, you are, we're already going something with really cool, but we don't wanna settle with that. Here's what we're gonna do. Shift A, get a color ramp and then plug it right here. And so we can now adjust everything as we're going. So I'm gonna bring this down so all we can really see is the color of our HDRI. That's the only important thing here. And we can also use this to adjust how everything's looking. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get here, put this guy here. I'm gonna click this, hit the plus icon and bring it to the end and make that white as well. Bring that all the way to white. And then we're gonna bring the strength down so there's not too much bloom. And then we can play with this X rotation until we get this kind of action here. So now we can see where the center of our situation is. And you can see how this bevel is catching the light, which is these two right here. So you really get that nice outline. So now we can actually start coloring this. So keep these two guys white because we do wanna have that. I'm gonna click another one here and I'm gonna make this guy nice and pink. 
kind of pink we're going for, kind of a light pink, and we're gonna bring that really close to the black. I'm gonna go ahead and click this guy, hit the plus icon, and I'm gonna make him a nice deep blue, make it white, bring it really close to here, to the black, because we do wanna get that hard edge, that really nice black color. And then uh, we can bring this white in to kind of accentuate that. We can get this, break. now we can start bringing up the strength, so really getting that kind of 80s look now, and we can bring this white in as well. We're gonna go from linear to ease here to get a little bit more strong on this, and then we can start playing with how everything's looking, and we are already getting something really, really nice. So I'm gonna bring this this way, bring the black, and so now we're already getting some really, really cool stuff. I'm gonna go here to the color management here, and we're gonna go to very high contrast here, so we can get some nice looking things, and here we go. We kind of have sort of the whole vibe we're going for as we're looking into this. And so here's, this is the part where you can go in and kind of, you know, adjust your lighting, adjust your color to really go for whatever vibe you're trying to achieve for this design. So now we already have this really nice gradient. All we're gonna, all we have left to do is get a nice uh, grid background. So we're gonna go ahead and get another plane, RX90, and then we're gonna bring it back a little bit. Now we're gonna scale it up so it just fills up the screen here. Control A, apply the scale. Now I'm going to subdivide this guy. So let's give it maybe 20 subdivisions. We're gonna to go to the uh, modifiers, add wireframe. Make it as thin as you like, so something like this. Now I'm gonna hit Z, go to the rendered view, and I'm gonna add a emission node. So principled to emission, make it a nice neon uh, sort of blue and make it as bright as you want. I'm gonna click the render button here just to make sure it looks good. I'm a big fan of it. All I'm gonna do now is just take my HDRI brightness, just turn it up a little bit, and we are done with this scene. We have this all done, all finished up. You have a really nice 80s text. You can go ahead and improve this. It's a little bit washed out, so you can go ahead and uh, improve that if you'd like, and everything looks good. Again, if you wanna check out my brand new course, that is linked in the description. Thank you for watching. Learn to make beautiful abstract motion design with Blender 3D in this course from 3D artist and educator Nathan Duck, or as you may know him, Ducky 3D. Not only will you learn a ton of tools, time-saving techniques, and advanced workflows, you'll also learn how he approaches visual development and design as a 3D artist. In this project-based course, you'll start with some foundational techniques and work up to more complex scene building all with a focus on art and design principles that can be applied to your own original work. The goal of this course is for you to improve technically by learning a ton about Blender 3D, but also artistically so you can make better looking work too. Blender is a powerful and intuitive tool that can allow you limitless creativity with your 3D art and animation. Become a master of modeling, shading, and lighting in this course for users of Blender 3D. You'll learn how to create organic forms with non-destructive modeling, level up on lighting and procedural shading techniques, and we'll pull everything together to create complex and stunning abstract artwork. By the end of this course, you'll have a better understanding of using Blender 3D and hopefully be inspired to make your own abstract motion design. This course is for intermediate to advanced Blender users who can also access a private Discord forum to share their work and ask questions. So if you're ready, let's dive in.